What if I told you that scientists may be on the verge of finding a cure for cancer? We could find out in the next two years if it's really going to happen. And it's all because of a four-letter technology that most of us never even heard of until the pandemic struck. We are extremely excited. mRNA vaccines certainly represent a, a really exciting approach um, uh, to this disease. To understand the doctor's excitement, we first need a better understanding of mRNA. Messenger ribonucleic acid is the driving force in the Moderna and Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccines. While most vaccines put a weakened or dead germ into our bodies to trigger an immune response, mRNA vaccines teach our cells how to make a protein that jumpstarts the immune system. It then makes antibodies, which is what helps us if the coronavirus enters our system. So basically you're putting in the instructions for our cells to make certain antigens or certain proteins that our body then sees as foreign. foreign. And when our body sees those as foreign, our immune system reacts to those and starts to kill those cells. Scientists first started working on mRNA vaccines about four decades ago, but it was the coronavirus pandemic that helped to speed up research and development. Listen to what the director of the University of Kansas Cancer Center told me about mRNA. The mRNA uh, approach is, is one which I think will allow us to uh, hopefully better individualize the treatment uh, to cancer patients and to uh, potentially offer some ways uh, for uh, some cancer vaccines that could even prevent the disease. That's right. Dr. Jensen says there is such hope for mRNA technology and cancer treatment that it might be able to not just cure cancer, but possibly prevent it. Jensen says local clinical trials involving mRNA vaccines and people prone to getting colon cancer will be starting soon. I think the promise of mRNA vaccines is that maybe once a tumor has developed and we sequence the tumor, we identify what mutations are causing uh, that cancer to develop. Then we can rapidly generate uh, a vaccine through mRNA technology to give that patient and stimulate their immune system against that tumor. Do you think this technology will allow us to someday cure cancer? Right now, it's it's all theory, um, and uh, but it's it's extraordinarily promising. But cancer is just one of a number of deadly diseases that mRNA technology is being experimented with. Malaria, multiple sclerosis, and HIV are just a few. A number of of uh, companies have already started towards uh, you know, developing trials, developing these vaccines. And uh, we're gonna find out in, in the relatively near future, by you know, two to three years, whether or not this is gonna work uh, for cancer. That's extremely exciting, isn't it? Absolutely. So we should know in just a couple of years if mRNA technology has a shot at knocking off cancer. And another major benefit, through this research, scientists continue to discover how to supercharge the body's natural immune system to fight all kinds of illnesses. So this could be a real breakthrough in avoiding getting sick or teaching the body how to heal itself faster when we do get sick. Wow.